What was a time when you used a sex move you saw in a porno in real life and it ended horribly? My husband is really into stripper P. I tried to recreate a move where the man was sitting in a chair and the stripper does a handstand. Thighs resting on the guy's shoulders. Her cooch in his face. Then she twerks. Almost like a seated 69. Lighting and music are perfect. I ask him to sit down. Do a little floor show. Then I pull out my big move. Execute it perfectly except as begin to twerk I'll let out the loudest queef right in his face. Still way better than 99% of the rest of the mishaps in this topic. First time I came in a girl's mouth she spit it out in her hand and threw it at me in surprise. It was her first time giving a BJ. Ah she spiderm in your butt. Do not frick a girl up against the glass wall in the shower. Especially not in a rented apartment. That wall is expensive. My GF at the time was giving me a BJ while I was standing up and I thought I'd return the favor by picking her up and spinning her upside down for a standing 69. She got freaked out about being picked up, farted which made me gag and I ended up giving her a tombstone in the living room of my first apartment. She kinked her neck and hit her foot on the edge of my coffee table while the forward momentum of the drop caused me to slowly fall on top of her bending my dong on her stomach. That emergency room visit wasn't a fun one and the doc couldn't stifle his laughter during our explanation. This is like the fifth wrestling reference I've seen in this thread. I like it. Undertaker would be proud. I was on a Tinder date at the time. On top of this guy. He thought it'd be super hot if he grabbed my hips and slid me to sitting on his face. Too bad that we had too much momentum going. I ended up hitting my nose on the backboard of my headboard so hard that it broke. Hot in theory though. Decided to give daring outside sex a go. Drove down a country road and pulled over. Started going at it with my butt hanging off the hood of the car. We hear a car approaching and my partner panics and drops me on my butt. Flat on my bare butt in the dirt as a car comes along while he stands there all nonchalant. Thanks honey. You never really know someone until you find out how they react when you get caught dogging. I thought I'd try DP. But then the one guy started sucking the other guy's dong so it never happened. I won't be exploring that any further. Well that ended up a disappointment. I'm 4'11 and my husband is 6'2. We tried to frick standing up leaning on nothing in particular when he hoisted me into the air and then lost his grip. The man dropped me to the floor like a sack of potatoes. Your username for some reason makes this 10x funnier. I was once trying to do some rough play with my current so. Things heated up in the living room and escalated to me picking her up and carrying her to my bedroom. Once there, in an attempt to manhandle her and show off strength, I chunked her onto the bed like a brute which banged the frick out of her tailbone and resulted in her crying for 10 minutes. The sex did not continue. Just as a tip, doing the pile driver is actually kind of hard and uncomfortable. Don't do it unless you have good lower body strength. Instructions unclear. Put girlfriend through the Spanish announce table. We were on the bed and I tried to pick her up and frick her against the wall, while standing on the bed. I didn't know her bed was on wheels. Bed slides out and we go into the gap. My forehead breaks her nose and splits her lip. I put my thumb in a girl's mouth cause I saw doctor. Manhattan do it. My finger is not like kissing a battery, and I don't have bangin' blue muscles. Was a mistake. I hooked up with a nice girl after meeting at a party. The first time we did everything short of anal. We were drunk. Don't worry it was clearly consensual. It was fun. And I remember saying you're like my own personal pornster and she loved that. A few weeks in. We were at it again and she said you can do anything you want. I thought quickly about how all the pee I'd seen recently had lots of butt eating and so I made an attempt. I guess she had done a number 2. And there was for sure a bit of that flavor. I thought that was normal, and I powered on. She seemed to be into it, but kept clenching her cheeks. At one point I was licking the booty hole and rubbing the clit and I felt like a champ. Then this happened quickly, and we spoke about it many times after but this is my memory. She says wait stop 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 and I pull up and say what's wrong and then the nastiest fart I've ever heard came out of her rear end. I almost passed out threw up. We didn't ever try that again. But I saw her at a party maybe 7 months ago and she was drunk and said remember that time. So I guess it wasn't that embarrassing. At least she told you to stop. An advance heads up. 
She didn't have to say anything and you could've ended up with a mouthful of butt air. I was a virgin making out with a girl in bed one night. I didn't know how to ask if she wanted to have sex. So I asked one a root. She pee herself laughing and she made me wait another month to finally lose my virginity. The Australian has been spotted. I repeat. The Australian has been spotted. Was getting sexy against a wall and tried to pick her up by grabbing the back of her thighs and lifting. She just slid down the wall and landed bare butt on the floor. One of my smoother moves. Smoothest sex to oral transition ever. Ex-girlfriend thought it would be hot to hit me during sex. I was standing by the side of the bed and had her face up laying down on the bed. Then she proceeds to give me the most fierce backhand I've ever received right to the cheek. Instant boner killer. And my face was redder than the devil's dong for about an hour. I asked my wife to call me Papy Poppy during sex and forgot about the request. A few days later she yelled out OHH Papy. I stopped my fantastic moves and looked her in the eye and said who the heck is Bobby. That boy ain't right. Not me but my roommate. He and his girlfriend tried something while standing up. Heard a primal scream. She runs out naked screaming for us to help. Ran in and his dong was broken. I cannot explain what I saw. A penis pointing entirely in the wrong direction looking blue and red. He was in agony but could not touch it. We called ambulance. It was pretty serious we heard later. He had to stay in the hospital a couple days. To this day we don't know what they were trying. Not seen in a porno, but in a chat room while I was in college, I was talking to a woman online. She was going on and on about how her husband used a hall's cough drop on her while going down on her and she loved it. So I tried it on my girlfriend, now wife. It's been almost 20 years, and the image of her holding her crotch, jumping around and yelling at Burns. IT Burns remains seared in my memory. You got trolled sir. I was trying to blow a load like Peter North, I was going for distance. So I pulled out and looked down to enjoy, first hand, the glazing I was about to put spray across my partner. I came in my own eye. You must have a Red Rider BB gun, cause you shot your eye out. When I was a teenager, the guy kept sticking his finger in me then into my mouth. It was annoying and I asked him to stop multiple times. He wouldn't so I figured I would do this thing I saw on Winamp porno stream. I snowballed him. He really wasn't about that life. Ended up vomiting off the side of the bed. He never did the finger thing again and we broke up a few months after. I love how you gave him a taste of his own medicine. I once used a numbing condom without realizing it. She finished and I wasn't even close freaking weird. She removed the condom and started sucking me off. After a couple minutes she attempted to articulate that her mouth was fearing funny. We checked the box and laughed for days. I'm giving you gold for fearing funny I've had crap evening and that made me laugh unnecessarily hard. My ex-boyfriend was going down on me for the first time and all of a sudden his head jerked up and his face was covered in blood. I freaked out thinking I started my period 3 weeks early. Turns out he got a bloody nose. He was very embarrassed but I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I think it was trying to have upside down rough sex. Then accidentally knocking out the person freaking me. For the first 3 minutes I thought I killed him. Fun times. My girlfriend at the time jumped at me while I was standing, but physics didn't agree with the movement and I wasn't braced well. Instead of catching her and proceeding to bang her like James Dean, I lost my balance and started falling forward. She ends up planting her feet, backpedaling off balance for 3 or 4 steps into a small rolling nightstand with a lava lamp sitting atop it. The lava lamp falls and shatters. Of course she ends up bare acid and the resulting lava, water, glass shard mixture. I ended up removing glass shards from her butt cheeks for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, but you got to stare at a girl's butt for 20 minutes, so. My, now, wife and I had set up a webcam. This was before smartphones, and were watching ourselves on our TV while filming ourselves. She was riding me reverse cowboy, and I was like frick. This is super hot, so out of the blue I started slapping her clit with the tips of my fingers from behind her. Hadn't ever thought of doing it before, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. What could go wrong? Well, wouldn't you know, she shriveled up like a tulip in a drought. 
Turns out having your clit slapped isn't always the most pleasurable experience. What's the worst that could happen? Well I don't know, but the blue balls I got after we had to stop from her first freaking out, then us both laughing uncontrollably about it, have both worked to prevent me from attempting that particular maneuver since. Had her do reverse cowgirl and thrusted like crazy. I was going too fast and slipped out, punching straight into her anus. She screamed bloody murder and dragged her butt across the floor like a dog. It took her a full week to recover. We're still together and will be going on 5 years after this month. Stuck my finger in his butt and he farted. I laughed. He went limp and kicked me out while avoiding further eye contact. You triggered his self defense mechanism. Throat fricking, where she was laying on her back and I was thrusting down her throat. Lots of puking, very little fun. This is kind of a 2 for 1. I met this older girl who had just gotten out of high school, flashback to 14 years old. She was pretty direct in saying she wanted to have sex with me. At the time I was a virgin and I was naturally excited so on random Saturday afternoon we met up at the mall. I told her how hot it would be to have sex in public but I didn't have any ideas as to where. She told me we can just go in the private family bathroom and I was all for it. We went in and got naked, obviously. She started off with a BJ, but 14 years me couldn't take the waiting anymore so I laid her down on the diaper changing station, which was marble or something, not that flimsy ones you would usually see. I decide to rub my dong on her vag and just ram it all in there to take her hardcores that was the kinda crap I watched in pee. Well, it didn't really work out the way I planned. I shove it all in there and not even 2 seconds later, like Tifu story, I came harder than I ever have right in there. I immediately let out a loud moan which I swear echoed followed by deep fear for obvious reasons. We get dressed and start to walk out only to find three families with children waiting right outside the door. But needless to say I was embarrassed to all heck that my first time was ruined by my need to frick like a pornster. TL. DR. I lasted literally 2 seconds while losing my virginity in a mall public bathroom while children heard me cm because I wanted my first time to be like the pornos. But did you at least use a condom? At a party, super wasted, hooked up with an equally wasted girl with a bunch of tattoos and piercings. It's not usually my type, but whatever. Get her back to mine and she's super enthusiastic blowing me. It was awesome. And she kept saying, frick my mouth. It seemed weird to me. BJ etiquette as far as I was aware was to stay mostly still and massage her hair and scalp. Whatever. I went at it like an any deep throat porno. So I'm fricking her face and getting more used to it and harder and more forceful. It felt so weird to me. But she said she was totally into it. I carried on. Until all of a sudden. Mid thrust. She gags and retches. She panics and pulls her head away. And her tongue piercing got caught on my. A banjo string. There was like no room for me to move to go with it and it just ripped. So, she promptly throws up all over my sheets, while my dong is literally squirting blood all over the place. Like, with every heartbeat there was a full spurt of blood coming out. She got embarrassed and ran to the bathroom to get cleaned up. So I was stood in my kitchen bollock naked holding kitchen roll on my dong. We spent the night sort of cuddling on my couch, tending to my bleeding dong and trying to laugh about it. She left in the morning and I spent the entire next day just tending to it. The day after that, when showering, I peeled back the foreskin to have a look and it started spurting blood again so I went to the doctor. They cleaned it up a bit and told me I could either just wait, clean it daily, and wait 6 weeks without masturbating or having sex so it could heal, or I could get circumcised. I opted for the former, then had sex 6 weeks after to the day. Midway through, I noticed myself getting soft. I pull out to see what's going on with little Jesus, and it's torn again and filling my condom up with blood. I left it like 10 weeks after that time before banging again. I read in Cosmo that using pop rocks during a BJ was exciting. I told my friend who I was visiting and when we were at the store she picked some up because it just seemed like a good idea at the time. I was sleeping across from the bathroom and in the middle of the night I heard her husband barreling to the bathroom yelling if try again 420 said she read that putting sand in your mouth would feel good would you listen. The next morning, over breakfast, he thanked me for suggesting his wife turn her tongue into a piece of sandpaper before going down on him but politely asked I'll leave my sex tips to myself in the future.
I exclusively jerk off with 40 grit sandpaper so I'm not understanding the issue here. I was like 21 years old and I had slept with a girl I had been seeing. I had no clue she lived with her parents. And I vaguely remember her saying she had to go to work and that I had to leave before 11am but I just drifted off asleep. I was lying down naked on the couch, and the girl's mom comes home and sees me sleeping nude on the couch. She freaked out a bit and asked me who I was and what the heck I was doing in her home. I told her I was her daughter's friend, and I noticed that she looked at my dong up and down. I really have no clue what came over me, but I just said so, you like what you see? Right away I thought to myself, what is wrong with you? The mother just started laughing, and asked if I wanted coffee. I was really surprised, but she seemed oddly comfortable. We drank coffee and talked about George Bush while I was butt naked on her couch for like 10 minutes. She had a lovely Dutch accent and made kind of strange comments about my body you have the same type of chest hair my husband had. Don't feel weird, I've seen it all honey. How does someone your age even get that hairy you look like a man? The mom was really cool. I had dinner with them a few times and she was just a super hip, awesome lady. Respect the heck out of her. You look like a man. Learned to rub my girlfriend's clit while she rode me ended up squirting on her roommate's suede futon in their dorm. Was a dark spot on it till the day we threw it out. Tried to spice things up by going at it on the hood of my car in the middle of a cornfield during a rainstorm. Tried a movie bit I'd seen. The old ripping off of the panties. Well, let's just say those particular underoos might as well have been made of titanium. Not only did I not tear them even in the slightest, but in my haste and frisky frustration I pulled on the panties hard enough to pull her off the car. She ended up falling into a puddle and getting a broken corn stalk jammed into her thigh. So, in the end, I got her all wet and screaming. Just not in the way we intended. Guy wanted to lick peanut butter off my nipples and I was like okay sure it was a little strange but it was something new to try so why not. In college my ex was riding me sitting with her legs wrapped around me. I picked her up and pushed her up against the wall and put her halfway through the flimsy drywall back first. We finished though because I ain't no quitter. I don't think that defines us ended horribly. Honestly it's a conversation starter. I hooked up with a stripper while I was in college. We played a game where I would grab some food and do something sexy with it. She was blindfolded and would have to guess what the food was. Since I was in college, I didn't have much in the pantry, so I grabbed a pickle and fricked her with it. She orgasmed and then when she took her blindfold off and found out it was a pickle, she freaked out. Something about fricking her with a half sour kosher pickle grossed her out. The idea of brine in my vagina is kinda disconcerting. I have to say, I'm not sure why. 2008. Had a girlfriend who was much younger than me. One day she was going down on me when I suggested that we try 69. She's never heard of 69 before. I had to stop her from what she was doing, explain to her what it was, and after seeing her horrified reaction, she almost started crying. She was so upset, I not just gave up on the idea, but she became really reticent to have sex with me much more after that, as she wasn't into kinky sex. Then she discovered Twilight and we stopped being physical altogether. Then we broke up. Before I suggested 69, she was all over me. As soon as I suggested it, it was like I told her that I'd kill her family if she touched my penis ever again. Hopefully she has had a few more years to live and experience things and still doesn't view 69 as kinky. It isn't. I mean, there's 69 in P, but it's not like I was asking her to do a bareback anal gangbang or anything. First time I came on a girl's face it got really awkward really quick. Turns out the cleanup stage isn't nearly as cool as the act of doing it. Cold water is key. Boyfriend and I got sexual in the kitchen, and he boinked me while I was sitting on the edge of the countertop. I've been dealing with a lower spine injury for two years now. Sad day for creative freaking. An ex saw P where the girl grabbed the guy's dong with both hands and twisted her hands in opposite directions. She failed to notice that said dong was lubricated. My husband tried this thing the other day where he'd frick me and then stop. He just went totally still and stopped everything. I thought he had a seizure. Then he started again like nothing happened. It happens again twice and I'm like what the frick man. 
he called it buffering. Terrible. Haha. <laughs> or the 90s version. Stripping down. Hiding behind a large curtain. Then lowering the curtain starting at your head and moving about one stroke to an inch a second until starting back over with a different pose five minutes later. Posted before but relevant. This was years ago. Fresh out of high school. I had recently broken up with my high school sweetheart and was finally on the rebound. Met a girl I wasn't super into, but she was attractive enough, really into me, and I needed to get laid. So one night things are getting pretty heavy in my bed and she moans in my ear telling me to frick her. Mission accomplished. So now I reach in my nightstand drawer for a condom when she says she's on the pill so I don't need it as long as I pull out. This was a new experience for me so with great vigor I strip off both our clothes and go to town. It felt amazing and I was showing her the time of her life. Finally the time comes when I need to and I pull out a strong grip on my dong to prevent any spillage. Now this is where it gets weird. Prior to this, I had only had boring protected sex with my ex. No BJs or anything fun or kinky. This was a first. And with all my sexual knowledge stemming from an abundance of pee consumption, I sprayed that load the only place that made sense. Her face. And believe me, that dry spell between my ex and her gave me quite a large load to deliver. I'll never forget that look of shock and horror and the screaming as I frosted her lips, nose, cheeks, hair, and eyes with a powerful velocity. Before I could stroke out the last of it she pushed me aside and staggered around my room like Helen Keller on fire, feeling for anything that she could use to wipe her face off. It didn't take her long to concede and collapse on the floor crying hysterically, snot and cm and tears dripping from her face as I sat there dumbfounded, still not realizing what had just happened. And then, as a result of all the commotion and frantic crying, my mom opens the door. TL. Doctor. Snot and CM and tears. TL. Doctor. Snot and CM and tears and mom. Fix that for your buddy. <laughs> Sex while high on marijuana count. Saw it online and thought why not? We are about to have sex. My knees locked on his shoulders in missionary. I'm flexible. We're pressed together in a jackhammerish position idk what it's called. Making out heavily. Then I fart. I laugh. Then he laughs. My laughs keep pushing out more farts in time with the laughs and we just keep laughing and he loses his boner because we were just so high. <laughs> Reverse cowgirl with the girl laying back on top of you. So both of you are facing up. It would have been fine except. Girls with really big booty can't really lay their back flat on your chest and expect you to stay inside. Thankfully it slipped out instead of broke off. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.